Good morning, everyone, on this final day in Epiphany. You thought that Epiphany would go on forever, but we're on our final day of Epiphany. And I'd like to read what I always do about our Aboriginal sisters and brothers. And they did find more children buried in unmarked graves in Saskatoon or in, in Saskatchewan somewhere. And uh, this unfortunately continues to go on and on. For thousands of years, indigenous peoples have walked on this land. Their relationship with the land is at the center of their lives and spirituality. We are gathered on the traditional territory of several indigenous peoples, including the Neutrals, the Mississauga, the Anishinaabe, and the Haudenosaunee. We acknowledge their continuing stewardship of this land. And now we'll take a moment to center ourselves and look at ourselves as a community on the air, but obviously a, um, a community that has a physical presence in our land. And we'll say together, gracious and loving God, quieten our minds and still our hearts for your living ways are all we seek. Strengthen our lives, inspire, inspire our heart, our spirits in your living waters flow endless grace. Amen. And let us say the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, Father, we worship you, we give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen and we collect our thoughts and prayers together and say, O oh God, by the leading of a star, you manifested your only son to the peoples of the earth. Lead us who know you now by faith to your presence, where we may see your glory face to face through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now our first reading. A reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Since then we have such hope, we act with great boldness, not like Moses, who put a veil over his face to keep the people of Israel from gazing at the end of the glory that was being set aside. But their minds were hardened, Indeed, to this very day, when they hear the reading of the Old Covenant, that same veil is still there, since only in Christ is it set aside. Indeed, to this very day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over their minds. But when one turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And all of us, with unveiled faces, seeing the glory of the Lord, as though reflected in a mirror, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, the Spirit. Therefore, since it is by God's mercy that we are engaged in this ministry, we do not lose heart. We have renounced the shameful things that one hides. We refuse to practice cunning or to falsify God's word. But by the open statement of the truth, we commend ourselves to the conscience of everyone in the sight of God. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. The psalm this morning is Psalm 99, verses 1 to 4 and 8 and 9. The Lord is King. Let the people tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is high above all his peoples. 
let them confess his name, which is great and awesome. He is the Holy One. Almighty King, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. O Lord our God, you answered them indeed. You were a God who forgave them, yet punished them for their evil deeds. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill. For the Lord our God is the Holy One. And together, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, you love what is right. Lead us in your righteousness that we may live to praise you through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. And also with you. Well, so just a little challenge here with my iPad screen. Here we go. <sighs> Jesus took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And while he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly they saw two men, Moses and Elijah, talking to him. They appeared in glory and were speaking of his departure, which he was about to accomplish in Jerusalem. Now Peter and his companions were weighted down with sleep. But since they had stayed awake, they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. Just as they were leaving him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he had said. While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them. And they were terrified as they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, this is my son, my chosen, listen to him. When the voice was spoken, Jesus was found alone and they kept silent. And in those days told no one any of the things they had seen. On the next day, when they had come down from the mountain, a great crowd met them. And then a man from the crowd shouted, Teacher, I beg you to look at my son. He is my only child. Suddenly a spirit seizes him and all at once he shrieks. It convulses him until he foams at the mouth. It mauls him and will scarcely leave him. I begged your disciples to cast it out, but they could not. Jesus answered, you faithless and perverse generation, how much longer must I be with you and bear with you? Bring your son here. While he was coming, the demon dashed him to the ground in convulsions. But Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the boy, and gave him back to his father. And all were astonished at the greatness of God. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And all were astounded at the greatness of God. I reflect over this past year as we gather to review the building which we call All Saints Anglican Church. We have weathered through adversity this past year, indeed the past two years, Yet we do not lose heart for God is with us and we give our heart and our soul and word to God. Indeed, I do not believe God only gives us what we can handle. I don't believe in that type of a God for what of a person that has been dealt catastrophic news. Indeed, God is with us when we encounter adversity Again, we look at All Saints Anglican Church, and we're certainly not talking just about the building, that's certainly one part, at the people versus the concrete structure. I am regularly astounded at the goodness of the people within the walls that go out into the world and deliver God's word. How many times have I heard people calling and dropping off groceries to those who are not able? 
how a quick phone call puts actions to God's words. In the midst of hardship, keep your eyes open to God's work in many people. The person serving you coffee, the cashier checking you out at the grocery store. All are God's children and all appreciate a kind word and a kind gesture. As the building of all saints is strong, it is without the arms and legs and words of God. You are the strength. You are the courage. You are the people who continue on even when life is hard. Are you the one who accepts help when needed? Well, I guess that's a talk for another day, isn't it? Let's look upon our strengths, the vestry and the amazing strength we have in our creator God. Remember, as we said in today's gospel, and all were astounded at the greatness of God. Let us forever be astounded by the greatness of our creator. Let us pray together. Creator God, we gather here today in celebration to celebrate the wonderful world you have given us and the miracle of growth. Help us to sow the seeds of kindness, empathy, understanding and love here in this church and as we go into our daily lives. Amen. And now let us continue to grow together as we say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We hear God's word in faith. Let us now respond in prayer for all the world. Lord, you are our delight and our joy. We seek to reflect your grace and goodness. Make us slow to anger and not too ready to condemn. We pray that your church may be open and welcoming to all in need. We remember today churches that are divided by factions or through animosity. We pray for churches that are working to heal divisions and hurts. God of love and hope, give us your peace. God of peace, we pray for peace givers and peacemakers. We pray for all who are seeking to bring reconciliation and hope to community and peoples. We remember today the works of the United Nations and all peacekeeping forces of the world. We pray for peoples involved in conflict, strife, or aggression, especially remembering the people of Ukraine and Russia whose hearts and minds are in turmoil with the threat of war. We ask that you bring a calm settlement so that all nations may live together in peace. God of love and hope, give us your peace. We remember all who have hardened themselves or become insensitive, all who are afraid of being moved or touched, all afraid of close contact, all suffering from a breakdown in relationships. We give thanks for our homes and our loved ones and pray for their peace, that we may have peace in our communities and in our lives. God of love and hope, give us peace. We remember with love all who are struggling at this time, all who realize that they are perishable human beings through illness or disability, May they be strong in the spirit and strong in the Lord. We pray for all whose lives are disturbed or distressed. 
We pray especially for friends who are ill or in need. Healing God, we bring to you those of our home parish, Anita, Sean, Lucy, Pam, Erica, Carol, Jean, and others about who we are concerned, Susan, Joanna, Heather, Anne, Leroy, Elaine, Karen, Jean, Sean, Gail, Eric, Enid, Diane, Pat, Joanne, Camera, and Nicola. Gracious God, give us peace. We pray for our loved ones departed, that they may rest in peace and rise in glory. God of love and hope, give us your peace. From the diocesan week we use, I now offer this prayer for reflection regarding the ongoing protest. And I quote, when we are weary, longing for renewed human connections, impatient to run to the way things used to be, struggling with what is becoming. Let us not allow fear or suspicion to erode our hearts, hearths and communities, <clears throat> pulling us into isolation or distrust." End of quote. God of love and peace, give us your peace. God of grace and glory, give us a gift of generosity that we may reveal your love and forgiveness and live in fellowship and peace with each other as we work for the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now let us consider our our triumphs over this past week uh, and things that we're not so proud of and we're offered up to our Lord. And, and in our contrite hearts, we know that we are God's children and we will be forgiven. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Merciful God, grant to your faithful people pardon and peace that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace, peace all peace. around. Peace. <laughs> and now... Again, we consider our trials and our triumphs, but let's consider our, our gifts, um, our gifts that we give the world, that we give our families, and the monetary gifts that we give as well. Gracious God, bless our offering. We offer our time, our talent, our treasure. Help us to use it to share your love. Bless our lives. Use each of us to share your love. Amen. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. It's something about this prayer that gives so much comfort that we said often from when we were children. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And as we close this part of our service, let us say this prayer together. 
Gracious and loving God, Jesus tells us that he was filled with the Holy Spirit. He knew of your love, his faith swelled within him, and he spread the words from synagogue to synagogue. Help us to realize and show our love of God in our communities, beginning with the community of All Saints Anglican Church. Help us to stay together, to be united and inspired in our work together as we continue to work for Jesus. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now please unmute yourselves and we will make the glorious noise as we say the doxology together. <laughs> Glory to God. God. Whose power, power working in us can do infinitely more than all can ask. Glory to God, 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 to God, 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 God generation to generation, generation in the church in Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus forever and ever. Forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters in creation, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Okay, we will now uh, take a break, and I ask that you not turn off your, um, I'm just going to turn this 